Tina, go to Tina Tatakatsua. I call Joanne Hayes. Before I start my contribution, Mr Speaker, I just want to set a few things straight that's been um, said in this House this morning. I, I want to refute a kōrero from Mr Henare when he mentioned um, the slowing of treaty negotiations by um, our Minister. And that member has been so wrong in so many ways in that statement, Mr um, Speaker. I can tell this House that the Minister for Treaty Negotiations, the Minister Honourable um, Chris Finlayson, is far from slowing down when it comes to negotiations. Um, just on Saturday, uh, I attended, along with the Minister um, Finlayson and Minister Flavell, the signing of the um, Treaty Settlement, uh, the Deed of Settlement for Taranaki Iwi. And um, so that was um, an amazing experience and a very emotional and moving experience, and I'm so privileged to be um, to have been present. I also want to talk um, a little bit about that. You know, recently the minister has spent some da a day with um, Ngati Rehua and, and continues discussions with Ngati Tama Oho, Ngati Takitai. And it's not so much as the Crown slowing down the process; it's about allowing Iwi to have the time to have the process to do their internal deliberations, because that's what it's all about. It's about making sure everybody is happy. And and, and moving forward in the process. That being said, Mr Speaker, I'm privileged to stand to take a call in the final reading of the Te Kawaro Amaki Claim Settlement Bill. And like um, other settlement bills that have traversed this House in the past, um, many who have been instrumental in the start of the process are no longer with us today, but I am sure that they are here um, in, in spirituality, that they are um, looking down on this House, looking down on the whānau that are here today and the friends um, and um, are very proud proud to where we've got to in this final reading before the bill um, uh, um, traverses into its ascension. Um, Mr Speaker, um, I've heard many times in this House also that perhaps the amounts um, um, from these negotiations are like a drop in the bucket, but we all know that drops turn into rivers, turn into oceans. And as I look up into the gallery, Mr, um, Mr. Speaker, I look at the, the very wise heads, the very um, uh, influential heads that sit up in the gallery for Te Kawaroa Maki. And as, as a member of government, I am um, very happy, very satisfied that that little drop that people talk about will be turned into an ocean um, in, in time to come. I know that there are the skills and the wise heads up there to make that happen for this iwi, Mr Speaker. I want to um, congratulate all the workers um, and everybody, all the whānau of Te Kawaroa Maki for your perseverance in this process. It has been um, one that I, can, I cannot even fathom um, the pain that um, you have felt through the loss of your lands through expansion of Auckland. And um, I stand here and I'm humbled, I'm absolutely humbled to be able to set into record um, the, the, the perseverance that you have endured over the time that has brought um, the conclusion to your bill today. And so without any um, further ado, Mr Speaker, I say congratulations, thrice congratulations. Uh, nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. I call Denise Roche. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tinakwe. Uh